Hello everyone, I just wanted to hop on here really quick to show you what I found today. So I have been swooning over this bag. I first saw it, um, Bag Hound has it in black black. And I've been um, looking for one. Uh, I Love Dooney has them for 398. I went to the outlet and I could not find one. Um, I was looking for one in black black. But today I was in Marshalls and I ran across this and I immediately picked it up, put everything down that I had, and uh, made no hesitations with buying this. So this is the small Florentine satchel in the color natural. So I have been looking for one of these for so long. Every time I put it into my cart on I Love Dooney, I take it back out again. Um, it's on there for $398 right now. I found this at Marshall's for $139.99. And it is in surprisingly beautiful condition for sitting at Marshall's. There's not one flaw on this bag anywhere. So it is in the color natural and the inside is suede and it's that beautiful Kelly green and then inside it is just the signature canvas that they use in their signature red color. I am so very in love with this bag. I could not resist it. I couldn't believe that they had one. I actually walked into Marshalls for a new pair of slippers and a new pair of sandals and I walked out with none of those things. I walked out with a Florentine satchel, and I think my favorite part of it is the Dooney Duck. I love this. The smell of this leather is absolutely phenomenal. None of my leather bags smell like this. I have quite a few Dooney bags. Dooney was the first designer bag that I ever bought. I was 18 years old. And that's when the uh, giraffe trend was really in. And I actually opened up uh, my first credit card ever, which was a Macy's card, and I maxed it out right then and there to buy that purse because I just had to have it. And I still have that purse to this day. I could never part with it. Um, but Dooney bags are just so durable. And this is the most beautiful leather. I've ever it, it feels like a saddle for a horse and I, I believe that's what they uh, describe it as on their website it is Florentine leather oh my gosh I am so happy that I found this it's actually very heavy um, heavier than I thought it would be I know bag hound said it weighed about two pounds but I didn't really realize how heavy two pounds felt. I've also been really into structured bags lately. Um, I have a Kate Spade that I bought oh, almost two years ago now and I still use that thing almost every day. It's just the most soft, beautiful, subtle, just pebble leather and it's in the same color as this and I really wanted this in black but once I saw it in this color this was definitely the right choice. I have a thing for this natural color lately. I don't know. And in the back here, you can see how the leather's just softened on this side. It's really just a beautiful, yeah, see how soft it is right there? This is really just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bag. I have no regrets about buying this. I just 
I cannot get over how good this smells. My aunt always had to have real leather bags when I was growing up. And I remember walking into the leather store with her to go get her purse. And the leather store would always smell like this. And it just smelled so good. This is fantastic. The crossbody strap is very long which is nice because I am plus size and I have a lot of chest <laughs> so um, this sits comfortably right at my hip I love how the top zips and you can fold it down and I love how slouchy this is but then also if you don't want to zip it you can kind of just fold it onto itself and I like that look better Now I usually like to have a wallet that matches whatever bag that I have. Pretty much every single one of my bags has the matching wallet. But um, I have my Kate Spade one with this one. This is what I use for the Kate Spade bag that I have. That's the same color as this. So I feel pretty comfortable with using this and as you can see this is really gorgeous leather too i love kate spade i love this soft pebble leather so that's what i have in there it's kind of hard to show the inside of it because it doesn't open that wide but it has the keychain and it has a pocket back here And then it has another pocket in front of that. And then on the back wall over here, there's another pocket with a button on it. And then a cell phone pocket, which is pretty typical. I have gum in there. Pretty typical for Dooney and Berg. So yeah, <clears throat> I'm sure my husband will be thrilled that I have yet another new purse. And I bought it and then I got it home and uh, I was putting my things in it and something in me said to keep the tag on just in case I wanted to return it but then as soon as I put all my stuff in it and I put it over my shoulder there's no way I can return this bag this is just such a beautiful leather so I thank bag hound for turning me on to that bag and I'm really just in shock and awe that Marshalls had it for less than half of the price that it's going for on ilovedooney.com right now. So yeah, that is my new Florentine satchel and I apologize, it's kind of, um, kind of loud out here. All of my neighbors have Harleys and I'm clearly I'm out on my porch here. So yeah, so just wanted to share. Um, go give Marshalls a look, guys. I actually found this out of Marshalls that doesn't really carry a lot of uh, high-end things. So yeah, good find there. So thanks for watching, guys.